Draw Plus includes the powerful Auto Trace Studio, which lets you trace imported images and convert them to vector objects. In this tutorial, we'll trace an image we cut out using Cutout Studio. To learn how to do this, see the Cutting Out Images tutorial. To open your image in Auto Trace Studio, select it and then click Auto Trace. Draw Plus provides three preset profiles for optimum image tracing black and white image trace, logo image trace, and photo image trace. You can read all about these in the help pane on the left. We'll choose Photo Image Trace. At the right of the workspace, you'll see a range of control sliders. Usually you'll want to experiment with these until you achieve the desired effect. Different values can produce quite different results. As you drag the sliders, you'll see your image update in the preview pane. We want to accept the default values for our image tracing. So let's reset the values. Click Reset and then click Trace. Again, if you want to learn more about the settings, you'll find details in the Help pane. Our initial traced output looks pretty good, but we can improve it. To do this, click the Adjust button. And now you'll see three tools available to you, Merge Tool, Fill Tool, and the Node Tool. If you look at the skin of the face and the stomach, you'll see that there are quite a lot of variations there and we don't need them all. Let's merge some of these skin tones. To begin, let's just zoom into the stomach area. Now click the Merge tool, and we'll select Auto Merge to let Draw Plus automatically merge areas for us. Check the brush size. We can increase it slightly for these areas. And then click and drag across the areas you want to merge. We'll reduce the brush size for that area there. And we'll move up to the face, click the Merge tool again, and merge a few areas here. That looks much better. Now we'll work on this area with the Node tool. Let's zoom in a little bit more. And you can see that this area is a little bit misshapen. We'll click the Node tool. And to begin with, we'll use the Select tool. We'll select the area we want to work with. Now we can click and drag the displayed nodes and the control handles just to reshape this area. You can also drag the curve segments that connect the nodes. We have too many nodes here, so if we click the Smooth tool and then click and drag across them, draw plus automatically smooths them out for us. And now let's use the Erase tool. Just click and drag to erase any unwanted nodes. This area here, we can delete that little pointed bit there. Click the Select tool again, and select the area. Click to select the node, and then simply press the Delete key on your keyboard. Now we can merge these two areas with the Merge tool again. And there we go, that looks much better. We'll zoom out to take a look. We would use the No tool again to smooth out and reshape this area here on the chin. One last thing to do. Let's take this colour from the face and use it to fill this slightly lighter area here on the stomach. To do that, we'll use the Fill tool. So click the Fill tool. At the moment, the palette is empty. We'll click an empty palette swatch, and then click the colour selector. Click on the colour you want to pick up, and then simply click on the area you want to fill. And there we go. Click Accept to accept our tracing. And there we have our traced image. When you've completed your tracing, there's lots you can do with it. For example, you could import a photograph using the Insert Picture button, and then place it behind your traced image. We'll show you a quick way to create a background using shapes, fills and effects. Click the quick rectangle and draw a shape to fill your page. On the Arrange tab, send it behind your tracing. Now go to the Swatch tab 
And in the gradient drop down list, select a fill type. We'll choose full colour. And then click through the swatches until you find one that you like. You can also go to the effects tab. And with the rectangle still selected, click a preset effect. That will settle for that one. And there's our final image.